Hello, I'm Brent Ferris from the Bearded Man Studios, and before I get a lot of questions on my last uh, video about the whole GUI style, I know I'm going to get questions about what's a GUI skin. So actually I'm going to delete this so I can go from the start. If you right click create, you'll see there is a GUI skin down here, and I'm going to call it example. So what is the GUI skin for if we can change the font and everything directly uh, on the script itself? Well, let's jump into our label script and let's comment out the uh, the uh, let's comment out this uh, second half of our let's okay uh, let's first uncomment the label that we commented out and then let's comment out after text let's comment out where it says style so that we're not applying the style anymore. In fact, we can just delete it because. Um, Let's delete that and then delete the GUI style variable. Now we're not using it whatsoever, so let's jump back and see it update back to the original, uh, I guess that's Arial or Helvetica. Um, and let's apply a skin that we can change uh, from here. So inside of our script, let's create a public variable. Let's call it public GUI skin. Let's just call it skin is equal to null. And to apply this skin to this label, what we have to do is type gui.skin and set it equal to our skin variable. And we have to do that before we call the label. And this will apply it um, to this label. So if we go back, nothing will change at the moment. Oh, first I gotta save. When I go back, nothing will change because the skin is null. So what we need to do is go to the cube, and here where it says skin, let's drop the example skin onto it. And let's click on the skin because we have to edit it, and we want to add our own font and replace that Arial. So let's take our uh, font, mine is this comic book font, and I'm going to place it on top. You're going to see that it automatically just uh, goes ahead and replaces it. And our ending of our sentence cut off because of our rectangle. So if you go to the cube and extend the width of this until it pops back on, there it goes. Um, now it's back. So if yours disappears, that is why. Um, so now we have this skin attached as a variable and rather than editing it directly inside of each and every label, we have a modular uh, skin to pass around. So if I were to attach, let's just, we can easily attach another script. Let's take this GUI label, attach it to the cube. So we have two GUI labels now on the cube. And the first one uh, is going to say, hello Brent. And, oops, it's going to say hello Brent. And we're going to turn the debug mode on. So we can see hello Brent there. And now, since we already have a skin, we can just drag that skin onto it. And it'll automatically apply our new um, updated skin. So that's what skins are good for. Now, rather than making a style on every single one of these, because if I had style down here, I'd have to do the drop down and change style on two different scripts. And that would be extremely lame. You'd want to do that for just kind of one script. Um, if it was kind of lonely and by itself and there was no need to create a whole GUI skin just for that one that uh, is the only one that's going to look like that. But if you have a thousand uh, that look all exactly the same, you can imagine how lame uh, changing the values of a thousand things would be when you could just create a skin and change it directly in here. So you can uh, see that I have a uh, label here. You can see there's also, I should add, um, there are more options and the, that is because um, they are not options they are different types of GUIs so there's box button toggle label text field etc and if I open up label and go to normal you can see the text is white and I can change it to whatever in there and it'll change in real time so not only does a uh, skin give you modularity where you can apply it to multiple things it also gives you isolated uh, styles whereas if you add a style through code you kinda just get a generic style that covers basically what's in here 
Um, and if I were to go into something like vertical slider and change that normal color, you could see nothing happens to the text. So that is uh, the importance of skins. And I would encourage using skins over styles. Um, the style was to give you kind of a heads up on how to get things working and running. Now a skin is more complex because it has all of these options and it's modularity and you have to open up a variable um, and drop it in. But it's much more powerful. So uh, just that was a heads up on skins and how skins and styles are basically kind of the same thing except skins give you individual options and it's modular. So. Um, yeah, I hope this helped out, and we'll be going over more things about skins and uh, changing different things about uh, various GUIs. So until then, um, I'll see you later.